Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Friday, everyone. Yay. It's the weekend. I'm excited. We got a lot going on. What do you have going on? Let me know. I want to hear. Today, we're going to talk about eight ways to combat laziness. And this was thanks to Danny's question that he messaged me. So we're going to try to help Danny out today with eight ways to combat laziness. I love it. Okay. Number eight is to get some exercise. I know. I know. Um, but really, what sort of health coach would I be if I didn't talk about exercise, right? Um, when you move your body for simply 20 seconds, let's say, um, it sends a signal to your brain, it gets energized, you get energized. So not to get too Rachel Hollisey on you guys, if you've ever been to one of her big events, um, but if you get up and you do like 20 squats, or not even 20 squats, just 20 seconds, like five squats, um, or like jump around or dance, just for 20 seconds, it really does work to like get you energized and get you out of your funk. Now you almost have to Mel Robbins that shit stuff, right? So you go five, four, three, two, one, you stand up, you dance, you move around, you do squats, whatever, you wiggle, and then you feel more energized afterwards in order to tackle some of the things that you were being lazy about in the first place. So you could take it further and you could do a 30-minute workout or a 60-minute workout. There's tons of them on YouTube. You can go to a place. Most places are open right now for group fitness classes. Um, I just got the new Up Yoga teacher schedule, and I'm on there five different times. So you have five opportunities every single week to come yoga with me, which is very exciting. Um, yeah, three times in St. Paul and two times in Minneapolis. So you guys, come yoga with me for sure. We'll get you out of your laziness. Okay, number seven, water, hydration. Um, and again, what sort of health coach would I be if I didn't touch on something that you put in your body? So the benefits of drinking water are completely endless, you guys. They um, can actually help you fight laziness. Staying hydrated can boost your energy levels. It helps your brain function. Um, it also helps maximize any sort of performance once you stop being lazy. Um, yeah, so a few sips of water can actually perk you up if you're feeling lazy. So try drinking some water. Try getting some exercise. Um, yes, and now we'll move on from the exercise nutrition type of stuff into um, some more mental things, all right, for the last six. So number six is to create a to-do list. Um, I think a lot of us don't get started on something because we don't know where to start. So if you have a list in front of you or um, yeah, just, just a list of here's all the stuff I got to do, right? Just pick one. Do one thing. What's the one thing that you could do that can help you accomplish more of the goals or the larger goal at hand? And usually, once you accomplish one thing on your list, you cross that sucker off, you're like, oh yeah, let's go, I'm going to do another one, right? It just kind of helps build on top of each other, so it gives you that momentum. So yeah, create a to-do list quick. Number five on our eight tips to combat laziness is think about this in reverse. So let's think about the effect of not completing your task. Like if you have something you have to do um, and then you think about like if you don't do it, like what are those consequences? I think that's what can get you going on something. Um, a lot of times we fear the consequences more than we want the result if that makes sense. Um, and so it's a little brain psychology for you there, but I think sometimes thinking about the negative effects that could happen if you don't do something is a motivator as well. Okay, hope that makes sense to you. Number four, think about those around you. So those people that are around you, you guys should inspire you. They should not drain you. And I know I've had a lot of people in my life in the past that have definitely drained me and haven't inspired me to be my best self. So if you find yourself kind of becoming more and more lazy, maybe you're around people that are lazy. Makes sense, right? 
Um, see what your friends are up to. See what the people that you hang out with are up to and not just on the surface, right? Are they up to something bigger in their lives? Are they working towards goals? Are they trying to accomplish things? Um, or are they simply just going through the motions of life and like going to work and going to the bar and then coming home and then taking a nap and then eating and then falling back asleep for the night? Like, what are they up to? And I'm not saying that's a bad thing to do that routine that I just said from time to time or for, you know, a little bit of a, a window, but then get out of that and go do something. Go take a risk, you know? Um, Anyway, so see what those people are up to that are around you, that you know and love. Um, if you surround yourself with people that are go-getters, with people that are driven to do stuff, you're going to do more as well. And I would say with that as well, um, listen to some personal development. You could do it on Audible. You can read a book if you want. But um, I would suggest Jim Rohn. He really gets me cranking. Um, makes me motivated to do all sorts of things. It's fantastic. So even though he's not a person that's around you, he is somebody that you're listening to, right? So you can maybe not listen to music one day a week on your way to work and listen to The Power of Ambition by Jim Rohn on Audible. It's a good suggestion for you. Okay, number three on our eight tips to combat laziness is to ask for help. I know that's not what our culture and society uh, would have us do. However, if you just ask for help, you guys, you're, for one, the person that you ask can take on some of that workload for you, right? Also, if somebody is doing part of what you're supposed to be doing, you feel obligated to do the rest of it, right? To finish your portion of it. So it instantly draws you out of that laziness. So who can you ask for for help that you know, that you love, that you trust? Um, and then let it go. Let them do that part. You can do this at work. You can do this with personal projects. You can do this with anything. Um, but really, then you'll want to do your piece of it so that you don't let that person down. That's a big thing. Um, and really, it's a <laughs> it's a win-win-win when you think about it, if we're going to do Michael Scott here. So... Ask for help, you guys. It's not a bad thing. It's okay. Okay, number two and our eight tips to combat laziness is to find your motivation. So I know that sounds kind of counterintuitive, but um, if you're completely, you know, lacking motivation to do anything, the fact is you're not going to do it, right? And that can be seen as laziness. Um, so again, get inspired by other people or by somebody who's done what you're trying to do before you, right? Um, when I was thinking about doing these live videos, my eight at eight, I was, I saw, I, I literally went on Facebook and YouTube and I watched a few people that went live all the time. And I was like, oh, okay. Like it helped me to, to figure out all of that stuff. So I watched the people that had come before me that had done the same thing, um, so that I too could do it. I, pretty simple, right? Pretty fun. Um, so usually motivation, laziness, kind of, for me anyway, it comes from procrastinating. So kind of figuring out what I'm scared of in a way. Um, and one thing that I thought was kind of fun when I was kind of researching this was somebody made a list of what motivates them. So whether it was like, I don't want to live in an apartment anymore, I want to own my own house, to I just want a clean house, I want to be clutter free, I don't want to spend so much time doing things like that, um, like cleaning and, you know, moving stuff from room to room, decluttering. Um, there was, what else was on her list? Things that motivated her. Oh, there was... Um, things about being overweight like she just didn't want to be overweight anymore so she was saying um like i want to be able to walk around the block without you know having to catch stop and catch my breath so many times like there's so many different things that can motivate you so if you make a list of all of these things and then when you feel like you're being lazy and like you should be doing something for one check in with your body maybe you do need to rest right that's okay to be lazy from time to time and number two Check your list. Like, there might be some, I don't know, there, there might be some motivation right there on that list, and you could easily just flip that 
and get moving. Okay, moving on. Our final tip, you guys, on how to combat laziness is to drop your expectations of things. I think that holds us back on so many levels, um, especially your expectation around having things to be perfect. Things don't have to be perfect for you to do them. It's okay to not be perfect. In fact, that's what life is. Life is messy. Life is messed up all of the time. And it's how you handle that, right? So for me, dropping my expectations, trying not to be perfect, perfect, that goes back to like this procrastination thing. Um, really, if I'm being lazy, it's because I'm truly avoiding something. So it goes from thinking about, okay, I should clean the living room, right? To, um, like, I just don't want to do that because then that means I have to get on my hands and knees and scrub the floor. Like, I don't want to do that, whatever, ick. I'm just making stuff up. Um, and then it moves on to, from procrastination, it moves to pure laziness where I'm all of a sudden sitting, like, on my iPad or reading a book or something like I'm completely disconnected from everything. I stopped thinking about it. It's all gone. Now I'm just being flat out lazy, just sitting pushing buttons or whatever it is. So it's kind of like this progression of a shutdown, right? So I can spend, you guys, I can literally spend like four or five hours completely avoiding things if I want to. I can sit there and like, I mean, I can read for five hours, that's for sure. But I can even scroll through Facebook for like two freaking hours. I'm sure you can too. It's horrible. Good morning, Connie. Hi. <laughs> All right. So what I would say is like, stop avoiding those things. Drop your expectations. That helps you be less lazy. It really does. Um, I can pinpoint a lot of where mine comes from. It comes back to fear. So what I've been trying to work on is to take the fear with me. Like, yes, things are scary. Things are scary all the time. Doing something out of your comfort zone is scary. Doing something other people are going to comment on and say, like, you're stupid for doing. Great. That sucks. That's a fear. That's scary. Right? Just take it along with you and do it anyway. Who cares? Um, like, again, these videos. Had I had the need to be perfect, I never would have even started. Right? I'm far from perfect. <laughs> and that's a really, really good thing. Um, yeah, I just never would have started these videos had I had that need in my head again. So anyway, I don't know about you guys, but I'm having fun. So that's a good thing. Anyway, you guys have a great Friday, a great weekend. If you want to connect more, we can go over to writdownwellbeing.com um, and get started on a free wellness profile. You can send me a message. We can connect that way. Um, really about any goals you have surrounding health and wellness. I am here for you. Um, I hope you have a great great Friday and a great weekend and I will see you on Monday. Okay, bye everyone.